this is basically cooking day. That's what this is, you guys. This is cooking day. This is subsistence with chef old guy. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and we now have Alpha 59, 59.06 out, which means my vegetables are spoiling. <laughs> so we're going to have to do something about that. Um, um, so, yeah, if you haven't read the patch notes for Alpha 59, um, lots of cool stuff. Probably the biggest thing is that... Cold Games has expanded the map to the west. West or the south? Southwest, something like that. Um, yeah, see how much further to the west it's going now than it used to? So we have some new territory to explore. That's amazing. Uh, so he did that. He, you know, he made some performance improvements. Um, the new area has like some new trees and more variety of trees, which he said in the patch notes he's going to move over to the older area eventually. Changed things with shadows, uh, made the veggie spoil as as mentioned, and um, uh, what was the other thing? Well, there's you know there was more, there's a few more things too, but th I, those are like the the biggest changes that come to mind at the moment. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, so, yeah, I was just looking over at the patch notes. Um, we can make vegetable chutney now, which will not spoil. There are triangular building pieces. Oh, yeah, nice. Look at this, you guys. Woo, triangle building pieces. Okay, that's going to uh, that's gonna change the way we build stuff. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, did he add a triangle roof for the triangle pieces, though? Uh, like these kind of roofs. Doesn't look like it. Uh, but we have the triangular foundation. So, yeah, cool. So that's definitely going to help uh, add more options for us when it comes to building. So, yeah, cool. All right. I know I keep saying that, huh? <laughs> but it is. I love it. Okay, so let's see. I guess the first thing we got to do is figure out this situation. Um, what's a good, What do I need to make another fridge? That's what we really probably should do is make another fridge. So we need 1,200 power and 200 mass. The rest of that stuff's not a big deal. Where are we at right now with the power and mass? Ooh, it was kind of low. Oh, crap. Okay. So here's what I think I'm going to do. Um, let's take out all of the basic meats because, you know, we can... Those are easy to obtain. Um, we want it to have at least one full stack of tomatoes. Oh, and he also said in the patch notes that you can't, you know, do little uh, exploit exploit tricks by switching stacks around either so yeah that's a thing uh, let's put all of that into there and we definitely want the rose hip berries and the strawberries because those are seasonal um, we want a full stack of blueberries for sure the honey doesn't spoil uh, oh the eggs do okay yeah definitely want the eggs in there um, that doesn't spoil those will will try and eat before this it spoils. That does. Oh, the mushrooms spoil now too. Okay, so yeah. All right. So that leaves us two spots. So let's put one st stack of steak and one stack of liver back in there. Now these are gonna, you know, these are gonna free up spots as I continue to make more of the roasts, and you know that'll free up, up some, free us up some space too. I just want to see if I can make this work with one fridge. It's not that making another fridge is a big deal, but it's you know it's just gonna be more power drain uh, for us because we have to make it and then we have to upgrade it and all that, and and we probably will eventually do that. You know now that the veggies and stuff does spoil, but let's see if we can get away with not having to do that just quite yet. All right, so the rest of this food's going to go bad. We might as well burn it for mass. And again, it's not a big deal at all, you know, to to get meat. I mean, it's just it's not a big deal. You just go out and kill some wolves and stuff. Um, it is a much bigger deal to grow vegetables, um, you know, so that we don't want those to spoil. Okay, cool. So we got that taken care of. While we're messing with this, let's go ahead and get another... Uh, let's make three more chicken dinners to free up that spot right there um, and I want to try the chutneys too and in fact to do the chutney oh yeah look at that uh, we're gonna need some jars and I want to make jam also yeah both of those things so let's make some jars I don't remember 
if these stack in five or ten. So the first thing we want to do is, well, here, while we're waiting, let's at least get another one of these going. Okay, so we got that going. Actually, well, that's going to suck our power. Well, that's okay. We're, we're going to try and not make the refrigerator for now. Uh, another refrigerator. Okay, hopefully I can get all this stuff burnt before it starts to go bad. Um, who knows, you know, how old some of that stuff is. Um, so, anyways, if, if some of it goes bad, some of it goes bad. Not a big deal. Not the end of the world. Okay, um, so let's also top off our crops really quick before we start working on making jars and chutney and jam. And those things, of course, will not spoil. Um, so, that, you know, because they're preserved, so that's good. All right, so what do we need for jars? We basically just need glass, and we have all the, all of this is from loot. We haven't made a single piece of, of glass ourselves. It's all just from loot, so, um, yeah, all right. So let's make one, two, oh, that takes 200 power. Okay, so I guess we're only going to make two. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll have to wait for that to build up. You know what we're going to do? We're going to turn this guy back on. You're not doing anything, which is fine, to save power. And, uh, okay, that's still burning. That's still burning. Okay, so, again, I don't know. I, maybe I could go look in my Season 1 save. I just don't remember if these stack to 5 or 10. But... Let's do this. Let's, um, what does the chutney require? Onion, carrots, and medicinal herbs. So it doesn't even use potatoes or tomatoes at all. Uh, okay, so let's make one chutney. Uh, so onions and carrots. So that means onions and carrots are going to become a little higher priority now. Oh, we need two of each. Okay. Three! Three carrots! Oh my goodness! There we go! <laughs> Three carrots! Wow, okay! We might not, uh... We not be, might not be able to get away with just one or, or four crop plots when this is all said and done. Alright, let's pull those out. Get another batch burning. Same here. I don't think there's any difference between liver and steak burnt as far as the this goes. Uh, wait, what do we get for one? Yeah, it's four and a half, I think, uh, regardless. Okay. Let's fill these guys back up. What we'll, um, what we'll try and do in the next episode is we'll try and go explore some of that new territory. The, the, the thing is, though, is it's you know, it's kind of a long ways away, so that's neat. Okay, well, let's see what kind of nutrition that's going to give us, too. Okay, let's see. What else can we do here? Um, I really don't... Oh, you know what we'll do with these? Damn it, I just lost one, didn't I? Boy, those kind of spoil fast. All right, well, let's put one in there, and we'll just eat the last one so we don't lose it. Oh, man, S eggs spoil in here? Oh, that sucks. Hmm, I don't know if I like that. Because we're going to, you know, we're going to be out and about looting. They're going to be laying eggs, and they're going to be spoiling. I wish he would have made it so they don't spoil inside the coop. Oh, man, that kind of sucks. Not going to lie, I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay. That means we're going to we're, we're gonna be losing eggs. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe Cold Games will change that. I don't know. I don't know if he will or not. It might be like, for example, he might not have intended for that to happen in particular. Okay, here's our first chutney. So what does this do for us? This gives us 60 fruits and vegetables, but no protein. And it gives us... 0.09, almost 10% max health, and 11% stamina. Okay. 
So it's a nice veggie thing, but it's, you know, there's no protein, which just makes sense. There shouldn't be. Uh, but we don't have to store this in the fridge. All right, let's make a jam now. I want to see um, what the nutrition is on that because I can't remember. Okay, so that's two of each. So we need two blueberries. Do we have extra blueberries in here? No. Okay, so two blueberries, two rosehip berries, and two strawberries. Okay, let's cook that up, and we'll compare that to the chutney in terms of, you know, the carbs that it will give us. Grab all of this out of here. And are we already at 100 mass? No, we're not. Okay, yeah, because we used some of it. So we're just going to store all this stuff in here. Let's re-fertilize our crops, too. And uh, we need to fill this guy up. I'm interested to go, you know, see those new trees too. There's gonna be there's gonna be like new species of trees, which is really cool. Alright, now let's um I wonder if these will spoil in the crop plot once they mature. Ooh. We're gonna have to watch that. Alright, let's split that in half and then we'll put that in there. I know that wasn't a completely even transfer, but it's good enough. Oh, man, I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that they, they at least stay whole until you harvest them out of here. We're going to have to see what the deal is with that. Okay, so are you guys burnt yet? Not quite yet. You're working on it, though. Well, that's going to give us a nice boost for... Um, whoops. For the uh, for this guy. Recycler thingy. Mass. Mass recycler. That's what my mouth's trying to say. Okay, now we could also make some chicken soup with these four pieces of chicken. What does the chicken soup require? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so one potato, one onion, and one carrot. So we should make that up too, uh, just so we can free up these four slots. Is there an upgrade on this that increases speed? No, just power efficiency. So overall by 30%. Yeah, that's something we might do at some point. We'll see. Let's turn that on. Okay, so let's compare the chutney with the jam. Okay, so that gives 60 fruits and vegetables. That gives 70 fruits and vegetables. That And this gives 24 hunger. This gives 30 hunger. So this satisfies more hunger, but gives you a little bit less fruits and vegetables than this. Uh, this has 10 max health. This gives you a just a tenth of a percent difference, you know, in the max health and stamina, which is not, which is negligible in my opinion, uh, and no protein from this. Okay, so I think the jam's ultimately going to be a little bit better, just because it's the fruits and vegetables that you want to get, you know, the max out of. Um, but the chutney's not bad either. The chutney's not bad. Okay. Um, so, let's grab this out of here and put some more of these in here. Likewise on this side. Maybe we're going to luck out and get all of this stuff charred before it goes off. That would be cool. We got some... Oh, oh! Under attack. Under attack. Wait. Where am I going? Open the door. Is it just him? Okay, it looks like it was just him for the moment. Uh, let's get these lights turned on. Man, I wish we could use a switch for these. All right, let's see what he dropped for us. That's what he dropped for us. Got a couple arrows up here. Or, no, I guess that's one arrow and the shadow of it, so it looked like there was two. All right, well, that was pretty minimal damage to the base, so that's good. Um, we will almost certainly get more attacks tonight, so we got to keep 
uh, vigil. Keep vigilant here. Wait for more of them to come in. Okay, let's run back up here. Okay, you're still cooking, and you're still cooking. All right, let's do a... Let, let's finish off the chicken dinners so we can free up that slot for something else. Uh, bake. There we go. Okay. I want to just kind of stay, uh, like I said, vigilant out here. That's Bravo up there. Oh, let me turn my light off on here so we're not... Or running the battery down. I, I changed the battery out in this too. We got a new one in it. Um. Okay, yeah, I'm not saying anything else at the moment. Let's run back in here and flip these over. Those can go in there, those can go in there, these can go in here, and those can go into the recycler because I have two full stacks here. Okay, so we have a mature tomato in here. Now let's look inside. Uh, I'm going to leave it in there for just a little bit to see if it starts to spoil back down. It shouldn't. I would hope not, right? Um, like the eggs are doing. I Yeah, I hope he fixes this because seriously, man, the eggs should not be doing that either. What if I'm out for a really long, you know, looting day? I'm going to lose eggs that way. Okay. Uh, you are at 69%. As soon as the uh, the meat's done burning, then we can uh, start cooking up more water again. So I'm just hanging on to it for now. All right. Anybody else coming? No, all quiet on the western front so far. We'll just periodically keep going back out there and checking. All right, you are at 94%. Let's grab this final one here. And then two more of you, two more of you, and two more of you. Yeah, with all of this cooking now that we can do and the fact that veggies spoil, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm I'm still gonna try and get away with just one fridge and the four crop plots for for now. And if I determine, you know, after a while that it's not enough to, it's not, if it, that it's not enough, then we're probably gonna have to increase the size of our farm and maybe add another fridge. We'll see. And you know, we could probably do that later on too. Once I get some tur more turbines up and a bunch more solar panels and power is, you know, we get more automatic power i guess is what i'm trying to say at that point you know then we could potentially afford to do something like that but right now let's just see if we can get by with the one fridge and the four crop plots okay cool um all right what are we gonna do we are just waiting for this stuff to build up let's do i have any uh, okay here we go let's get some water cooking we are gonna need to also uh, stoke these fires here. Okay, cool. So we got all of our meat burnt. None of it spoiled on us. And that can all go into the mass recycler once we hit our, our free power of 100. That's going to boost us up uh, nicely. Okay, let's go take another look out here. It's a big blizzard day, so this is not definitely not a good day to go out exploring new territory to the west. Okay. You're at 80%. So the only other thing in here that's currently spoiling is, are these apples, so we might as well 
uh, put those in there to save them. Apples actually give you a lot of, of carbs, so they're pretty good. Um, if we were down a little bit more, we could eat this, but there's, there's not really any point in eating that because I'm going to keep cooking you know, these to keep stacking all that stuff up down there. But that, yeah, that that got our veggies down quite a bit. So, okay, let's look at this again. All right, so it doesn't look like the tomatoes are spoiling while they continue to stay in the crop plot, which, again, is the way that it should be. So, uh, Cold Games, if you're watching my video, I doubt you are, but if you are, um, that we need the same behavior with the eggs, too. Because it's, you know, it's the same situation. All right. Let's put, um, I'm not going to actually smelt that quite yet, uh, because I want to, I want to keep this power up so that we can keep cooking stuff to, to bring it down. This is basically cooking day. That's what this is, you guys. This is cooking day. This is subsistence with chef old guy. That's what's going on here. All right. Now, what's the next thing we want to do? Um, if we make these into soups. I'm not going to have a spot to put them in here. So I think the thing that makes the most sense is to keep stacking up chickens and uh, and roast ribs, at least until we run out of veggies. Okay, so let's, do, let's keep doing that. And I, I think these will stack to 10. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe they don't. Hopefully they do. We'll make a you know, we'll make another chicken after that moose roast is done, and if it doesn't stack, then I'll know, right? And then we'll figure something else out. See, that's where we might need to seriously consider a second fridge then. I'm you know, I'm okay with him making the veggies spoil though. I think they should, because, you know, they would in real life. I mean they'd last They'd last longer than raw meat would, but still, I, I, I think that's reasonable for them to spoil. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised he hadn't made, it, made, them, made them do that before then, you know. So, okay, cool. Cool beans. I want to make a bunch of jams. Not, I don't know that I'll be making a lot of chutney because I'd rather save the fruits and vegetables, you know, for the roasts. Uh, but jam, definitely. And the cool thing about the jam is that we can... We can take it with us because, you know, it's not going to spoil or whatever. But it's also why we've been painstakingly collecting all the strawberries and the rosehip berries. Um, and even the blueberries for that matter. So we will be making a whole mess of jam in particular as time goes on. All right, how are you doing? You are 56%. Okay. So, yeah, no spoilage on those tomatoes. So I think we're good to go there. Oh, we're almost, the fires are almost ready to go out. Let's get them stoked quick. Perfect. That's the perfect time to use a Presto log, right? Right before it goes out. Then you get the most bang for your buck. All right. Well, let's see. I think I don't know what to do. It, it, it's too. It's really kind of too nasty for us to go out right now. I mean, it's not really bad nasty but nasty enough right so we might go ahead and just wrap this episode up it'll be a shorter episode than what i usually would do um and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna keep cooking uh to free up space in the fridge a and b you know so we can cook and have all that good food and then um the tentative plan for the next episode is to go explore the new territory so that's something, you know, I'll do once once the attack cycles are finished. Uh, it looks like maybe we still have a single attack on one day, and then probably the next two will come tomorrow. And then we'll set off really early in the morning, well supplied, and we'll go uh, check out, you know, the new territory. So that that's the tentative plan for the next episode. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.